So I'm Sebastian Lee, I'm 20, and I've been coming to Sensory Fitness for a little over two years. Sebastian was diagnosed with high functioning autism, sensory integration disorder, ADHD, panic disorder, uh, clinical depression, and um, some undiagnosed dysgraphia. Um, there's one that I'm missing. Anxiety, yeah, situational anxiety when he was almost nine years old. And he was kind of on that first massive wave of high functioning autism diagnoses. And we were in rural Eastern uh, Washington and we had a very difficult time trying to find some behavioral therapies that would work well for him. Some of the things I struggled with early on before I came to you were uh, a lot of sensory touch issues. Um, I didn't like changing clothes, it felt too uncomfortable. If I had an outfit, that was the outfit for the day until I went to bed. We tried some behavioral therapies before, but I didn't enjoy them that well, so I didn't really go through with them. Anything that I tried to bring to him, he became very resistant to, and it became um, uh, very difficult in our home. I was pretty nonverbal with a lot of people. I did not like to be in proximity of pretty much anyone, whether it be close family relatives or just a stranger on the street. If they were too close to me, I'd freak out, uh, get overwhelmed, shut down. Um, and because of that, I didn't do uh, public transportation. I refused, just outright, I would not touch it. He hated it but yet I knew that he needed to have it. So I started pushing that after we started working with you. And now he can ride the bus anywhere he wants to go. Uh, some things we've done and working on personal space, it comes with uh, like one of the things we were doing boxing. It's a very contact heavy sport. Uh, so that doing stuff like that has helped. And thanks to that, I've been able to get onto public transportation and now use it almost daily to go and do wherever I need to go and do whatever I need to do. I start talking to a friend of mine. She says, why would you do hyperbaric chamber? Why don't you just do scuba diving? I said, because I do not think that he has the capability to interact and follow directions. Okay. I'm like, talk to my husband. How are we going to swing $350 for this camp? plus rental, plus the gear and all of this. My husband looks at me and says, we'll do what it takes. So now we have to look for something else. What do we do? And that's how we found you. And it was amazing and mind blowing because it was, came at the exact moment that we needed it. Uh, I came to you because I needed to, uh, well, I needed to get more fit for scuba diving. Uh, I did scuba diving to help with a lot of behavioral issues and sensory issues, such as the touch and anxiety. So in scuba diving, either wearing a wet or a dry suit, when you go down under, the deeper you go, the more pressure is compressed upon you and it's, very soothing. So I got into scuba diving thanks to doing that. Uh, fell in love with it and I realized I needed to get, be a bit more physically fit for it. We start realizing that something's missing. It's endurance. And his dive buddies are saying, you know, he's falling behind. When I first got my dress suit, I could do one. One was the majority of the dives. I could only do about one. Sometimes if it was a short dive, I could do two. Um, but then right when we got back on to working together and doing consistent workouts and I told you about that and we worked on it, uh, I'm, in, I'm now able to do two, three, maybe even four dives with the dry suit and not have any problems and be able to go and have fun afterwards. Something that you have taught me was about the neurotransmitters and I have seen in Sebastian where those neurotransmitters have been growing and growing and growing. And then things like click, tying his shoes. When he came to you, he couldn't tie his shoes. 
He couldn't tie his shoes because the fine motor skills. He could kind of do it, but they wouldn't stay. It's the little things that you may not see that have made an impact um, in his everyday life to make it better. <laughs>